Hey everyone, what's up? Today I have the review on the Micro Shield from Extreme Mac. This is available for $19.99 on their website. I'll have the link in the description. So what's cool about this case is that it actually includes two screen protectors or their tough shield as they're called. These are usually sold separately on their website, but they actually include it with this case. So on the back it just shows you how to um, apply the screen protector as well as the case and just some information and stuff. So we'll open this up. First thing is we have the case itself, which is see-through, and it's plastic, as you can see. Put that off to the side. On the back, we have the two screen protectors with a little instruction thing on how to apply them. So those are the screen protectors. So let's take a look at the case for a second. So as you can see, it's very thin, and um, it is plastic, and it's glossy. So it's still going to attract fingerprints, but since it is clear, it's going to be less noticeable. kind of reminds me of the Incipio Feather in a way because it is so thin. As you can see, you've got all the cutouts for the ports. And I'm basically just going to go ahead and put this in. So take my iPod, I'll put it in volume marker side first, and then basically you just snap in the corners. This is a little difficult to get in because it's kind of like you have to stretch the plastic over it. I kind of feel like it's going to scratch the bezel of the iPod. So basically you just snap it in and uh, there you go, the case is on. So you've got the cutout for the volume rocker right there. You've got one full cutout for the 30 pin dock connector, the speaker, and the headphone jack. You have one full cutout for the power button. So there is a section of the corners. As you can see, the plastic comes over the corners just a tad. This is going to offer a little bit of protection, but since it is so thin and low profile, it's not going to be ideal for drops. It's mostly to protect the back from scratches. Thickness-wise, it does not add any bulk. And it's going to be very easy to fit in your pocket without collecting dust or lint or anything like that, like silicone cases would. For $19.99, I don't think it's necessarily worth worth the $20 just because it is only plastic and um, doesn't add much protection but since they do include two screen protectors it makes it more worthy of the price of $19.99. I would suggest this if you're looking for an alternative to the feather for the iPod Touch. It is clear so you can still see the metal backing if you like the metal backing along with the um, iPod logo. I would recommend this if you're looking for a low profile case to protect against scratches. Um, if you're interested in this, go check them out at extrememac.com. I'll have the link in the description to this product if you want to go check it out. So thanks for watching and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.